Hi everyone, it's me, Ahava Sarah Fisher, and today's video is about when the going gets tough. When the going gets tough, the tough fly on wings like eagles. Hey, we've all been through seasons where things change, and sometimes it feels like it's really tough that you're in a season where things were pulled away and it's a challenge. But guess what? A tough season is actually not tough. It's actually a season where the Lord has set things up to bring out the gold within, like gold being refined in fire. You know, things are pulled away so that He can now pull and draw from within, draw out of us those gifts that may have been lying latent. So you will find that when you get into a new season, it's so imperative to put on the mind of Christ, to not tolerate the enemy who will try to get you to um, maybe be fearful or panic or worry. Some people get depressed. You have to reject that. You have to rebuke the enemy because the scripture says resist the devil and he will flee from you. So we are temples of the Holy Spirit. Our job is to remain in the Lord Jesus in a state of peace, in a state of joy. And you'll find that when you consistently remain in the Lord, it is so easy to receive signs from him and to receive direction from him. And then you take on this new season knowing, okay, this is just a new chapter. And in this new chapter, there's opportunity. Let me find that opportunity. I'm going to, in fact, demand the opportunity. I am getting the gold from this season, no matter what. <laughs> so you have to have that attitude. You can't, you can't give in to the tricks and the strategies of the enemy. So, yeah. So look at it this way. A tough time is a new season and there is a treasure lying awaiting for you. What am I saying? Waiting for you. <laughs> so take on this perspective and ask the Lord, Lord, give me the signs. What is it that you want me to do during this time? What are you trying to show me? And when you do that, you will find that he will give you clues. You'll be doing things differently. You'll be doing new things and you'll be meeting new people. Something is always changing when you follow the leading of the Holy Spirit. That's what it means to be a believer in Christ. You're always walking into the unknown. Look at the father of faith, Abraham, who had to, was commanded to walk into the unknown where all the promises would become available to him upon the leading of the Spirit into uncharted lands. So I just want to say that if you feel like you're in a season where things are really, really tough, look at it this way. There is an opportunity here. Do not ever look back. Don't be like Lot's wife. She looked back and what happened to her? She turned into a pillar of salt. That story shows us how dangerous it is to look back. You cannot ever compare one season to another. And when you look back, you can't gain the treasure from today. You know, I entered into a season that would seem tough. And then when I put on this new mindset, guess what? It became so exciting. <laughs> so many things opened up and yeah, just it is, there's such an encouragement when you see what happens when you live by faith. Live by faith. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Don't even call it a tough season. It's not. It's actually a new season. A new season. It's a great season. And our job is to remain in the Lord, reject fear, re reject offense, reject anything that pulls you out of the spirit and tries to take you into, into the flesh. Also, I want to mention it may be a tough season for you because you've lost someone. Someone has died or maybe someone is no longer in your life. But you have to look forward. 
you have to let go of that season and look to what is happening now and to the vision the Lord has given you and move with the Holy Spirit. Because the enemy will continually try to keep you trapped in a vicious cycle by making you look at all the things that you don't have or you, you've lost. But guess what? There is something wonderful that the Lord has planned. And when you stop looking at the past and you look to the now and to the future, you will start to see the signs and then you can adventure with the Holy Spirit and you will find that treasure and you will be excited and exhilarated and you will see that Wow, this tough season is the best season. It's like the book, The Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. It was the worst of times. It was the best of times. It starts off feeling like the worst of times, but when you put on the mind of Christ, it becomes the best of times. It's up to you. It's up to us to make it the best of times and the Lord will never disappoint. He always is able to do immeasurably above and beyond all we can ask or think. So this tough season, it's a great new season. I hope this video blessed you. Leave me a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Love you. Shalom. Jesus is Lord. Bye. Now to him who is able to do exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask or think, according to the power that works in us, to Him be glory in the church by Christ Jesus to all generations forever and ever. Amen.